Have you ever been in an argument and you were so in the right that you just couldn't believe it? Well, how about have you ever been so in the right that everyone else has to die? If you answered yes, then you must be a vegan. A power vegan. Let ring, banana bitch. Hey, fruit bats. So I just woke up and I was thinking about something in bed, which I think about quite often. Oh, dick. You were thinking about dick. Which, you know, is a meat product, so pretty poor vegan over here. And that's where the people who continue to eat meat and dairy, even though they know the impact of their diet choices on the planet. Yep, I'm one of those people. I got farmers in my family. If I turned vegan, they would fucking disown me. On the animals, they've watched Earthlings, they know the facts, they've been educated. What the fuck is Earthlings? Some show you watch so you can sit there all smug while tucking into your fucking hummus or whatever. Eat a dick. But they choose to continue eating animal products. Nice top you've got on there. Polyester, is it? Probably blended with wool. That's an animal product. And the plastic in polyester is derived from crude oil, which used to be living creatures. And as we all know, plastic likes to live forever. So tell me again how you aren't affecting the planet, banana bitch. Whether they actually deserve to continue living. Well, that got real dark real quick, didn't it? Okay, uh, we're gonna euthanize all the meat eaters. We're going full food Nazi on this one, people. Let's go. And that might be like so extreme sounding to you, so dramatic. Well, yeah, yeah, a little bit. And poorly thought through. What are you gonna do with all the bodies? Just stick them in a landfill? Not very environmentally friendly. I suppose you could make stuff out of the bones and fat, but that would not be very vegan. So I don't know. But I've got to break it to you, we live in an extreme, dramatic world. There's a lot of fucked up shit going on, there's a lot of negative shit going on. Yeah, like someone advocating the extermination of a massive chunk of the population based on their fucking diet. And I know there's a lot of unicorn huggers out there, you unicorn huggers who are like, Oh, really? you're so negative, you always focus on the negative, oh, really? Oh, shitting on your audience there, nice move. Be more positive, freely this, freely that, oh my god, you- Who the fuck is freely? Your banana bitch. <laughs> Stupid cow, getting her own name wrong. You know, you create your own reality freely, and you know what, I agree to a certain degree, you create your own reality, but- Banana bitch looks like she's about to do some magic here. Probably gonna turn a 10 kilogram slab of tofu into a shit fucking meal. The slaughterhouses still exist. That's not a slaughterhouse, that's a cow, you dumb fuck. An oddly threatening cow. Bend your knees and grab your toes. The fur farms still fucking exist. They are still there regardless of you turning a blind eye to them. Yeah, I've had the concept of object permanence down since I was about six months old and no longer found peekaboo funny. I know things are still there even though I can't see them. I don't know why you needed to set- You're teaching your grandma to suck eggs. Well, well, not eggs, obviously, as you would never do that, and your grandma may have been vegan too. Oh, she probably died of pneumonia or something because she was lacking in vital fats. A cheeseburger would have saved her. And focusing on other things. They are still there. What the fuck was the unicorn about? You think I wouldn't eat a unicorn? I'd eat a fucking unicorn. Bet that shit tastes awesome. Then I'd use the horn to scratch my ass. Animals are still having their fur ripped off their back. Animals are still having anal electrocution. They're still having their, their throats slit, their skulls crushed. That shit is still going on. And yes, it's negative. Yeah, again, I think I worked out the negative part there. Thank you. Oh, except for the anal electrocution part, which sounds quite hot, actually. I think some people would pay a lot of money to have that done. And we need to bring attention to it to make a positive change. But you started off by saying people know about it. So how would drawing attention to it help? It hasn't before, so why all the gory images, banana bitch? Your channel's all about vegany goodness, so it stands to reason your audience are vegans. So why are you using those pictures? So you can sit there and rub your clit over the fact that those images have nothing to do with you? Come to the fucking UK, banana bitch. Our five pound notes contain animal fat. That's what's positive about the focus of, you know, animal rights activists and people who actually give a shit about the planet. Oh yeah, yeah, those who give a shit about the planet. They drive their cars to these protests, mind. Like when you have all the world leaders come together to talk about climate change, they fly there. Fleets of cars making sure they get there safe from the airport. Now you have animal rights activists using fucking horse glue to stick glitter to their signs. And focus on these negative things to turn them into positives. So ignoring that stuff, 
is not being positive. Well, it's not being negative either, because these industries are still there. As a vegan, how does it feel knowing you've had absolutely no impact? Now that's negative. It's not being enlightened, it's just being ignorant. So it's important to make that distinction. Well, ignorance is bliss, as they say. Not sure who they are. Almost positive they aren't vegans, though. And am I being too extreme? And yes, it does include family members of mine who actually continue eating meat and dairy. Ah, <laughs> even your own family are like, shut the fuck up, banana bitch. And I love them very much. But we are in this situation where drastic change needs to happen and people aren't taking it fucking serious enough. Well, probably because meat tastes good. And it contains an enzyme called shut the fuck up, which stops you turning into a preachy asshole. And if they, if their position on the planet was threatened because of their dietary choices, they would change to vegan in a heartbeat. And what if you were threatened because of your diet, banana bitch? You'd be too smug to change and too weak to fight back. That's the truth of the matter, because it's so fucking easy to be vegan as well. Yeah, it's easy. You just have to set up a reward scheme. One week of being a good vegan means you can have a juicy T-bone steak on the weekend. And people kind of just treat it like, you know, it's just like a casual thing. Like anyone can, you know, you can make your choice. I make mine. Just not mind your own business. Oh, you mean level-headed people, yeah? It's weird. Some people, once they cut out meat and dairy, become insufferable little fucks. You know, I'm sure you've had that sort of, like, comment as a vegan. You see, you are talking to vegans on your channel. You're preaching to the choir, banana bitch. Unless you're judging them for not being vegan enough. Varying degrees of veganism. It starts with cutting out certain products, and then it goes on to condemning others. That's a true vegan. None of that wannabe bullshit. Oh, I'm really, like, happy for you that you choose vegan. Good on you. That's fantastic. But no, I can never do it. It's like, you shouldn't have the choice. And what do you think would happen to all those animals if people didn't eat them, banana bitch? Do you think people would keep them as pets? Come into my house, don't mind the cow, he's friendly. Or we could just release them into the wild so other things could eat them, because that's fine, isn't it? Never mind our digestive system from the teeth to the asshole is perfect for consuming meat. No, leave them to the crows. It's wasted on them, banana bitch. They have no understanding of seasoning or sauces, and they won't use the bones and fat to make any kind of stock. Or five pound notes. You should be forced to be vegan. You should absolutely be forced to be vegan. The situation the planet is in, we cannot wait for you to fucking get your shit together. But it's vegans thinking that though, isn't it? Which leads me to believe the lack of meat and dairy in your diet is affecting your brain. We cannot wait. The animals cannot wait. Well, to be fair, what else are they doing? They're bred and then they're fed until they're big enough to be slaughtered and chopped up into delicious cuts of tastiness. Considering that's their one purpose, I'd say they can wait. They're pretty good at it, actually. Fills up my belly. Oh, hold on. She's spacing out here. That is the far off look of someone who is thinking about a surf and turf right there. Yeah, so... As you can see, I'm really passionate about this. And do I want to kill people? No, I don't want to kill people. No, no, we know you don't want to kill people. You just think meat eaters don't deserve to live. And yes, I was in that situation before. What, where you were going to kill someone? Well, as long as you eat them afterwards. Otherwise, that's just cruel. Where I didn't know. I didn't know about the meat and dairy industry. No, I didn't have a fucking clue. And that was enough for you to change. That's cool. I know about the meat and dairy industry, but I'm not stopping. So what else can I do? Kill a pig myself? In my flat? That would be the security deposit gone for a start. But I educated myself. So there's people who have educated themselves, but are like, meh. I don't feel like doing it right now. What do you mean right now? No, no, I just don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like doing it. Better. You know, I've heard, I, I, I knew a vegan once and they were like, they were, you know, a little bit weak. And that's why they said they knew a vegan once, because they're dead. And they couldn't do this and that and... Well, there are many things vegans can't do. Uh, survive in cold conditions, survive an illness, make friends, or shut the fuck up about veganism. You know, like, 
just some, you know, I knew a vegan once who had a child and the child had deficiencies or some shit, you know, like just... Yeah, just a newborn child with deficiencies, just some shit. This kitty was stillborn because it was lacking in vital nutrients. No biggie. That's another thing vegans can't do. Survive birth. Looking for excuses, excuses? No, you should not have that option. You just gotta step the fuck up. Or you really don't deserve to live on this planet. Yeah, a little bit threatening there, especially with those crazy eyes. Those crazy food Nazi eyes. She looks like she's craving meat and just managing to keep a lid on it. And angry. I mean, I've made a lot of fucked up videos, but this is the one that I think will give me the most backlash. Because vegans are just so angry. And that's how it starts. First you get the craving, and then you get the fury. And before you know it, you're tearing off someone's face with your teeth. Zombie fever, man. I swear the government's not telling us the half of it. Special thanks to my boy Brandon of Bipolar Symphony and the lads in Through Cerberus for the theme tune. I've put their Facebook links in the description so you can check out the other cool shit they've written. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, if you don't eat meat, you can live to be 100. But who wants to live to be 100 if you can't eat meat?